we sold a cryptocurrency with no clear exit. Hey guys, and welcome to the video. So we have a very funny and sad story today coming from Colorado, where we had a pastor start a crypto exchange, market a shitcoin to his Christian audience, withdraw $1.3 million, and then rug over 300 people of his Christian community that could not withdraw from the exchange. Caitlin and I are being charged in a civil charge uh, from the Colorado Securities and Exchange Commission for basically selling millions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency that is deemed worthless by the state. Now, the reason that they're seeing that it's worthless is because there is no exit for people who have bought. We launched an exchange, the exchange technology failed, things went downhill, and from that point forward, we've just been, we've just been waiting on the Lord literally for a miracle. The charges are that Caitlin and I pocketed $1.3 million, and I just want to come out and say that those uh, charges are true. So there's been $1.3 million that's been taken out of, I think it was a total of $3.4 million. But out of that $1.3, half a million dollars went to the IRS and a few hundred thousand dollars went to a home remodel that the Lord told us to do. All right. So if you're a Christian, that's amazing. If you want to denounce this person from the Christian community, I support you in that because he's talking about the Lord telling him to take the money that he rugged from his audience, from his Christian audience. Remember, this guy is a pastor. The Lord said to remodel my house and to do home improvements with money, with millions of dollars that was taken from other people. So how this whole thing started is the Lord told us uh, in 21 to walk away from our marketing company. And he said, I'm going to do a new thing. And then he took us into this cryptocurrency. It was a different cryptocurrency other than index coin at the time. Well, that cryptocurrency turned out to be a scam. And so the Lord says, give that to them, but also give them a 10x. And I'm like, well, where's this liquidity going to come from? And the Lord says, trust me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Where? <laughs> Where, where did this liquidity, where is this liquidity going to come from? And the Lord said, trust me, bro. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> I got you. Well, as money is coming in, uh, we would be sowing it. And at first it was hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars, then tens of thousands of dollars. Money would come in, we tithely sow, more money would come in. And so we were just always under the impression that God was going to provide, that the source was never ending, that God was doing a new thing and that we had nothing to worry about. I don't know what crypto scam he's talking about in this version, but it could be something like BitConnect or USI Tech. If you were around in 2017, you definitely know about those. And basically he's using biblical references of like sowing and reaping. And the Lord said that liquidity is coming and that he's going to tell his audience and his community that they're all going to get rich if they do this. I was involved in crypto in 2015, 16, 17, right? I saw BitConnect and USI Tech, and I unfortunately got wrapped up in some of that hype. It's interesting because there were a lot of Christian people that did these types of, well, I guess, scams. And they wrapped it in this framework that he is wrapping things in of the Lord told me and the Lord said, or God said that this is how we are gonna create abundance in our life. So it's bringing me back to some of those videos I saw like eight years ago. We sold a cryptocurrency with no clear exit. <laughs> we did. We took God at his word and sold a cryptocurrency with no clear exit. And so the prosecutors have to take that and say, these people willingly sold a cryptocurrency with no clear exit. What we're praying for and what we're believing for still is that God is going to do a miracle. God is going to work a miracle in the financial sector. So Eli, this pastor, marketed and sold a crypto known as INDX coin or index coin to members of the Christian community. The index coin was also offered through the Kingdom Wealth Exchange. This is an online crypto exchange that they created, controlled, and operated. So from June 22 to April 23, Index Coin raised nearly $3.2 million from more than 300 individuals. The complaint alleges that this pastor targeted Christian communities in Denver and claimed that God told him directly that investors would become wealthy if they put money in this scam shitcoin. These guys had no experience in crypto, which was clear when a third-party auditor's report described their coin code as unsafe, unsecure, and riddled with serious technical problems. The complaint alleges that this coin was illiquid and practically worthless. Investors lost millions and defendants dissipated investor funds to support their lavish lifestyle. 
And I looked up their church and their website has been rugged, which is probably a good idea. So it gets even worse. Before the crypto was shut down, these guys, the pastor and his wife, were selling their shitcoin for $1.50 each, payable to their Venmo account or by wire transfer to their church's bank account. And here's the kicker, right? Because these coins can only be traded on their own exchange that no longer exists, investors have no way to recoup any losses. So as you can tell, I think this is really, really sad, really effed up, and just really horrible, but also really hilarious. And I hope that every single investor gets all of their money back. Some of the comments from Twitter, God misread the chart <laughs> and the Lord told me you're going to jail. Please, please let the judge say that upon sentencing. This one and the Lord told us to rug liquidity to install hardwood flooring. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. The Lord said, trust me, bro. So let me just wrap this up. I don't like the fact, obviously, when people get scammed, but even worse, when someone from a position of power, like a freaking pastor, markets an illiquid shitcoin to their audience or to their community because he is in a position of power, and then he's saying that God and the Lord is coming through me and that anybody that invests is going to get a lot of money and we're reaping what we're going to sow and all this kind of biblical talk. That really bothers me because that just really degrades the word of God and Christianity, and it's a really bad look for Christians, and it's just a horrible thing. So as funny as this is, I really hope that, again, everybody gets their money back somehow, and these guys have to sell their house and sell all their assets that they bought using people's money, literally having people send money to them via Venmo or Bankwire for this coin that they made up on an exchange that they made up that they had no idea what they were doing. Horrible situation, but this video was too ridiculous and also funny, so I had to share it with you. Make sure to subscribe if you liked this video, and I will talk to you later.